Hello friends and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to show you the Corsair H60 Hydro series uh, for Intel AMD high performance liquid CPU cooler. It's a very cool product that you can get uh, if your computer is having heating problems. Uh, I built my own computer in 2014 uh, from scratch and uh, it was working okay but when I was doing renderings of my videos uh, the temperature warning signs were popping up telling me that the temperature of the CPU was getting to uh, over 65C. So that's a little hot for the CPU and uh, I thought about, you know, well, I opened the case and I first I cleaned it up. It was very dusty, especially the vents on the front, um, which, uh, you know, I, I didn't clean for a while. Uh, but uh, I thought, well, I'm going to change the normal, um, the, the standard fan that comes with the CPU. It's an AMD FX that I have. It's an older CPU, but it still holds its weight. Uh, it's an 8 core FX8350, uh, I believe. So, what I did is I bought this uh, online, this Corsair H60. It's the cheapest, uh, one of the cheapest you can get, and uh, it's the one that only has one fan. You can find ones with two fans, which will, I guess, it will they cool down more the CPU. But for my intention and for this being my first uh, cooler, uh, liquid cooler for, for my computer, it was okay. I also like the fact that this um, cooler connects from or has the option to connect from the exhaust of the uh, case. So you can put it uh, in and replace the back fan, the main back fan on the top of the case with uh, this fan and the cooler and uh, it's, it's really cool, it was very easy to install, that's another thing I was looking for, and maintenance free. So, after I installed it, you know, I uh, really found a big difference, so I want to recommend it out of, immediately. It's, it cooled my CPU at least 10 degrees centigrade, and uh, maybe a, a little bit more. And my CPU used to run idle about 40 Cs. Uh, and when I install this, now idle is about 30 or it's sometimes even 29 or 28. Uh, and under stress, it never reaches more than 55. I put it to the test with games, I put it to the test with rendering, which is uh, what was giving me problems before. And with heavy rendering on the max and using the, all of the eight cores, it was reaching a maximum temperature of 55 centigrade. So that's pretty amazing. It's a pretty good product. As you can see, I am opening, opening the box. It's a very simple box. It comes with a fan uh, that uh, you can just uh, you know, plug in. Everything is really easy. You don't need anything more than what comes in the case. Um, and uh, it comes with connectors for the Intel and AMD uh, CPUs. So you will not have no problem uh, adapting your uh, the connection to whatever chip you have. Um, also, uh, you know, it's uh, very easy to install, like I said. Uh, all you have to do is remove the plastic cap from the uh, you know, from the front uh, part that goes next to the CPU. It comes with um, gel pre-applied or silicone, you know, coolant gel pre-applied so you don't have to put any additional gel. Uh, you may want to maybe clean a little bit your CPU after you remove the original fan or the fa factory standard fan. Uh, but be very careful when you do that. I have to tell you this story. When I pull out that fan after four years that I install it, I actually pull with the fan the CPU itself, bending some of the little legs, the golden legs that my CPU had. When I tried to put it back, the computer didn't work and it started beeping. So I was freaking out and uh, what I did, well, I got the CPU out and maybe after 10-15 minutes I was able to um, put those pins back into position straighten them again. It was very difficult because those pins are small and very close together. So I, I bended up maybe three or four of them. So after I, you know, put them back in the position, I put it back into the socket and the computer worked perfectly and it's still working and everything is fine. But just a word of caution when you pull out that uh, the factory uh, factory standard fan from your CPU, the, the, the paste that they apply or, uh, or that you applied may have uh, become some kind of glue and glue the CPU to the fan. So uh, make sure that you do that procedure carefully. 
as you can see this is the manual and it has all the instructions and I'm just showing you page by page in case uh, you want to see it it tells you how to install it it's really just a couple of steps all you have to do is um, attach that adapter to the uh, to the exhaust well first of course screw the fan to the back of your case and here you have to decide if you want to uh, put the fan as an exhaust or, or as an intake it's recommended that you do it as an intake so air comes uh, from outside to the inside of the case if you do that it's also recommended that you switch the uh, position of the fans in the front of the case normally the fans on the front are in take two so you want air to come in and hot air to come out so make sure you have a good uh, system or ventilation uh, direction or flow inside your case so if you put it as an intake then there has to be an out uh, somewhere in the front of the case um, and as you can see this is this was my old uh, CPU um, cooler which is was not doing a, a good job and uh, you know the it's also everything fits perfectly uh, um, in this in my case you know I have a standard uh, thermal take case um, and uh, thermal -like case and it worked pretty well so the only thing is that you have to screw uh, you know these uh, different screws to the board and the adapter once that is done you know that's it so I really highly recommend this uh, cooler it has worked for me it really now I can render videos with no problem I can leave the computer on all the time and no problem so thank you so much for watching this video and uh, please don't forget to subscribe thank you